Hello dear friends assalamu alaikum and welcome back friends we are discussing about the uh, human urinary system right in the previous three or four lectures uh, what we had discussed uh, I will write it here first of all I have discussed about the intro of urinary system then we talked about the functions of uh, the urinary system what functions does it perform then we talked about the organs of urinary system right organs and these organs were the major organs or components and the minor components major components or minor components of urinary system we have discussed then we talked about the capsules of the kidney or the coverings of the kidney uh, or we we call it coverings of the kidney now i hope you have watched these lectures and have took uh, taken some benefits from all these lectures and then we talked about the segments of the kidneys the five segments of the kidneys right now in this lecture we are going to start uh, uh, to discuss about the structure of the kidney itself the internal structure of the uh, kidney i'm going to discuss it right now okay so let's go towards our lecture and see how do we know how do we discuss the structure or the internal structure of the kidney so let me write here structure of kidney or rena right you can also make notes of all these lectures while watching these videos keep uh, your pen and keep your copy with yourself you can make some good lectures some good uh, topics from all these lectures so my dear friends our kidney consists of some some uh, important parts and what are those important parts first of all i will write the names of those important parts then we will put all those parts in a separate diagram and we will see uh, we will learn easily the structure of the kidney so first of all what is there first of all we should know that whenever you are discussing about a kidney you should go from outside to inside from outside to inside so first of all what should be there there will be renal fascia will be there renal fascia we will see this then there will be renal fat layer or we say the uh, piri renal fat right there is the piri renal fat layer right then the third one uh, i told you now we are going from outside to inside right so renal fascia peri renal fat and then there is renal capsule renal capsule is there right renal capsule then if we take off the renal capsule then we will see what we will see the renal cortex there will be renal cortex and if we take off the renal cortex there will be renal medulla renal medulla will be there right these are some major structures which we will see while while we open the kidney and then inside it inside these we will see some other parts also that is the renal cortex renal medulla we will see the renal lobes right then we will see the renal columns renal columns then we will see the renal lobules okay renal lobules will be seen and then there will be number 9 there will be the renal columns done the renal lobes then there the renal lobules then there are renal pyramids renal pyramids are there these are some the all those important parts of the kidney that one should know about all of them renal pyramids are there then there is renal papilla renal papilla and number 11 there is the minor calyx minor calyx and then there is the major calyx major calyx and in the end there will be your ureter number 13 so the ureter will be discussed in separate lecture so let me put it here there is ureter so all these important parts are present in your 
kidney if you want to know about the structure of the kidney you should have a concept of all these and one thing which is very important which i should write there that is the renal carpuscle so uh, let me write it uh, here instead of the ureter we will write it the renal carpuscle renal carpuscle right this is the renal carpuscle and if you want to know something else also there are one to three million nephrons also so nephron is also part of your kidney the functional unit of kidney we will have a different a separate lecture on the anatomy of this nephron in the next coming lecture right friends so this is th these are the important parts inside your kidney now let me open a kidney here for example we have this kidney in your hand right outside there will be renal fascia then there will be renal uh, pre-renal fat and this you know this dark brown this is renal capsule see if you take off the capsule you will see what you will see renal cortex this outer part is called the cortex and this inner part is called the renal medulla or we call it renal medulla you can see also here the outer part is called cortex and the inner part is called the renal medulla okay majorly renal or we say majorly kidney is divided into two major parts the renal cortex outer and the renal medulla inside right so this is medulla and this is outer cortex majorly it is divided into these two important parts and these other structures these other small small structures are present within all these two within all these two means within all these this renal cortex and renal medulla so majorly your kidney is divided into how many parts it is divided into two parts the renal capsule sorry the renal cortex and the renal medulla now others all these other structures are uh, are embedded within these two the renal cortex and renal medulla right friends so if you want to know uh, how do we draw the kidney let me make a diagram here and put all these important structures inside that diagram and you will know about the structure of the kidney very very easily so let me draw a diagram here first of all okay so let's see uh, all these structures in this diagram here friends first of all the outer layer is renal fascia so let me make a very simplified diagram here for you guys so this is the renal capsule you just consider that this is the renal capsule right outside this renal capsule we have perirenal fat so let me uh, uh, put the renal fat with this thing from inside to uh, from outside to outside uh, to inside so what is this this is renal fascia right renal fascia then what is this second layer this is renal fat renal fat or we call it piri renal fat and then what is there there is the renal cortex so the third is the okay we should not forget renal capsule is there so this is uh, the renal capsule if we want to know about the internal structure of the kidney that's why we have taken off the capsule from this uh, upper part so we have made a section here the sagittal section is done there right so then what is there then there is the renal cortex right so this is the outer part is called the renal cortex so let me make it a little bit uh, larger here this is the renal cortex the outer part and then there is the renal medulla this is medulla right let me separate it okay done right so this outer part is called the cortex what is this this is renal cortex 
I will write what is there in the renal cortex and this is the medulla right friends okay in the medulla there are the renal pyramids what are there in the medulla my friends there are renal pyramids so let me start from here and draw the renal pyramids for you guys pyramids are triangular structures these are the renal pyramids pyramids are triangular structures like this so how many pyramids are there are there are about one dozen or some books say there are 10 pyramids in each kidney so this is the renal these are the renal pyramids right and we will see all these okay these are the renal pyramids very easily in between the pyramids are the renal columns what are there in between the pyramids are there the renal columns are there so these are the renal pyramids and what are there in this in these renal pyramids we will see them later right so these are the renal pyramids and renal pyramids are like this look carefully we will draw something else also right so these are the renal pyramids now let me shed these pyramids these are the renal pyramids you can also learn how to draw the structure of kidney from this lecture right so these are the renal pyramids okay then in between the pyramids we have these renal what are these these are renal columns so let me name them here these are renal pyramids renal pyramids right and then there are renal columns are there right okay there are renal columns so let me name them also these are the renal columns renal columns and what are there in these columns we will see later right and then there are the minor calyx and major calyx now let us see them there this part you know this opening of the pyramid right the opening of these pyramids are called renal papilla okay let me name them also these openings are called the renal papilla by watching this lecture you will learn how to draw the structure of the kidney so this is renal papilla and then there are some other structures also which are called the renal minor cal minor calyces so look carefully i will draw here some important diagram here look they are called the minor calyces right They will take the substances produced in these renal pyramids and take them like this, right? Like this. Now look, these are called minor calyces, right? You know calyx, the supporting part which support the flower in bud condition calyces. So what are these? These are minor calyx. minor calyx and what is this part this is called these are called major calyx right major calyx right friends and what is this part this is called renal pelvis this is called 
renal pelvis right and then they collect the urine and bring them like this now it becomes the ureter it is now the ureter clear friends now look let us see some other structures also which are present inside your kidney in these uh, renal columns what are there okay so let's come from the cortex and go down and down renal lobes look these uh, renal uh, these renal pyramids make the lobes of the kidney look this is one loop right this is one loop this is other loop right this is other loop right and look carefully along this pyramid you will take this the part of the cortex also along the pyramid you will take the part of the cortex also so this is one loop this is other loop right and here is the other loop of the kidney right and here is also the renal loops my dear friends i know you are understanding me what i am saying that along the pyramid you will go to the cortical part and you will take the part of the cortex also so this is one loop of the kidney loop 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 so these are the loops of the kidney so i hope you now understand we this we saw renal fascia we saw perirenal fat we saw renal capsule we saw renal cortex we saw renal medulla and then we saw renal loops right so the loop is the part of the kidney it is present along with the renal pyramids and these parts of the cortex also have taken so this is the renal loop this is the other renal loop and these are the loops of your kidney so i hope you understand now about loops of the kidney so the cortical part along with some part the medullary part and the pyramidal part of the medulla and the cortical part of the pyramid these are called the renal loops great then there are renal columns now look carefully where are the renal columns in between the pyramids these uh, empty spaces are called the renal uh, renal columns so let me share one column here this is renal column right friends this is renal column this is another renal column clear friends so these are renal columns in these columns what are present there in these columns there are three important structures which pass through these columns first of all there are renal vessels there are renal vessels which we will see uh, uh, the lower vessels which we will see in the next lecture renal vessels then there are the ducts the tubular system tubular system means uh, the tubes the tubular part of uh, what tubular part some tubular parts of the nephrons are also there and then there are some connective tissue is there connective tissue is there clear okay what did we see in the renal columns in the renal columns we will see that there are blood vessels right the arteries and the veins right and then there will be some uh, parts of the uh, nephron also there so we will enlarge that part and we will see them in the uh, future part of this lecture right then there are renal lobules what are renal lobules look carefully renal lobes are these renal lobules which part we of the kidney we call renal lobule look carefully friends this is one collecting duct right this is one collecting duct here is a nephron for example glomerulus first convoluted part loop of and second convoluted part and this nephron is connected to this uh collecting duct look carefully then here is another nephron right first convoluted part loop of and second convoluted part and pour its uh, collection here then here is another nephron right like this 
pore you are filtered there then there is another nephron loop of finlay pore you are filtered there so this part where many nephrons are connected to one collecting duct this part is called the renal lobule what is lobule lobule is the part of the lobe of the kidney where many nephrons many nephrons will pour their filtrate in one collecting duct so when many nephrons are connected to one collecting duct we call that part as renal lobule so i hope you understand about lobule so in the lobes there will be lobules so look carefully if this is a collecting duct right and this part of the collecting duct is going into the renal pyramids so here is a nephron connected to that here is another nephron connected to that here is another nephron connected and then here is a nephron connected to that and like this so this part is called the renal lobule so inside the loops there are lobules so i hope you understand uh, the concept of the renal lobules then there are renal pyramids so as i told you in the uh, in the past uh, just a minute to before we told you about the renal pyramids so pyramids are triangular structures triangular part right which are present in medulla they are found in medulla so these are the renal pyramids about 10 to 12 pyramids are present in each kidney clear friends okay then there are renal papilla what is papilla this part where look carefully this part where the pyramid opens into the pelvis this part is called the renal papilla i hope you understand this is renal papilla here is another papilla here is another papilla here is another papilla so the opening of the pyramid occurs into the renal papilla done then there are minor calyces or we call it minor calyx so these important these these parts are called the calyces or we call it calyx right so minor means small small calyx that's why we call and there is a major calyx so this part this part is called the major calyx right and then there is the renal pelvis and then ureter right okay then there are nephrons also so many nephrons are there in the cortical region and they come and pour their secretion into the uh, pyramids like this so there are billions of millions of nephrons which pour their secretions into the mm, renal pyramids like this right so there are nephrons okay friends done then there are renal corpuscles renal corpuscles what is renal concept of the renal corpuscle let me make this diagram here look friends this is one nephron i am drawing right first convoluted part right and then there is a loop of henle like this right then there is second convoluted part like this and then there is the collecting duct clear friends this is collecting duct now look inside the uh, inside here there comes the afferent arteriole afferent arteriole comes and it makes a bunch of capillary here we will discuss it while i will discuss about the structure of the kidney so this part is called the glomerulus glomerulus right and here is a capsule surrounding this glomerulus this capsular part is called the like this is surrounding it right so this bunch along this capsule is called the renal corpuscle this is called renal corpuscle so all these corpuscles are found where they are found in the renal cortex so corpuscles are there in the renal cortex clear friends okay and this capsule is called bowman's capsule bowman's capsule 
player so the bowman capsule along with the glomerulus and the filtrate filtrating unit of the nephron all these three are called the renal corpuscle and all these corpuscles are found here in the renal cortex done friends this was about the structure of the kidney which i told you and i hope you understand it now in the next lecture i will take one nephron and i will discuss about the structure of nephron in an easy way inshallah so see you guys in the next lecture so you can take uh, a picture of this lecture to make notes of it also so friends we will see in the next lecture till then allah hafiz